What's up guys, thank you guys for tuning in. My name's Dylan, and this is For Real Fishing. So today we're gonna to be fishing Table Rock Lake, Kimberlink's, or no, not Kimberlink, we're gonna go Cape Fair area. Today's Friday, we're going fishing on Saturday. Uh, I think it's, I think Saturday is gonna be February 10th. Yeah, February 10th, 2024. Yeah, so I'm gonna go fishing with me and my friend. Uh, the weather looks pretty good. You know, it's not going to really affect me. It probably won't affect my friend either. It's going to be uh, like high 30s in the morning. And then actually, I'm not 100% sure. Let me, let, me look at it. let me look at it real quick. But yeah, we're going to be throwing some, some jigs, some crankbaits if the sun's out. We'll also probably, uh, I got a jerkbait tied on. And then we also got a Demiki rig. Which is actually, it's a pretty fun bite. Oh yeah, it looks like low 40s at, at um, like 6. And then at 12, it looks to be about like 50. Yeah, just low 50s. But yeah, like I said, we are throwing a jig a lot. Probably my friend likes to throw a shaky head, so we'll throw that. Uh, like I said, got a little PU, or not PUE, but got a little half ounce football jig from um, Chompers. Little Demiki rig right there. That's the Juggle Minnow from Six Cents, and the uh, Rock Crawler. Rock Crawler is pretty popular over Table Rock, so this time of year it's always a good idea to tie that on. And then we got the Pee Wee right here. That's my favorite. Uh, I am gonna take that plastic off. I don't want chartreuse tips right now. Uh, we got underspin right there. I uh, probably won't throw that ever. I might throw that, maybe maybe a little bit. But then we got crank bear, not crank bear. We got a jerk bear right here. Strike King, KVD, I think. But yeah, that's what we're throwing. Going Table Rock, Cape Fair area. We'll probably, I, I don't know. It depends on how long we'll fish, but I'd say four or five hours is probably a good estimate. Yeah. Oh, uh, this is all I'm gonna say. Uh, there's no wind. You know, last time I went fishing, the wind was crazy. Yeah, it's just gonna be. It should be a pretty nice day. Anyways, see ya. the next morning and we're just gonna hook up the boat and yeah, I mean that's about all once again table rock Kimberly oh yeah no we switched to Kimberly City area because we're fishing like a mini tournament with these other people and for some reason they decided to switch places so we're just gonna go with them I think they're scared or something but yeah I'm gonna get the boat out you gonna get on the lake so yeah, see you guys on the water. <laughs> All right, we're on the water with Fisher right here. Got some bait, I'm just gonna do Mickey rig, might throw a little jig around. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Let's go. Right behind the 
behind the what? Passenger seat. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Oh, baby. All right. That's a keeper. All right. 201. First fish, not even 10 minutes in. A little two pounder. We'll catch another one. Two seven three, decent smallmouth, pretty one. See ya. Right to the bottom. Four four seven six pounds. Four eighteen, next cast. Pretty one, a little smallmouth. Yeah. Hey. to the old reliable, little 288. See you bye. Oh! 
get in here hard. <laughs> I just finished cleaning the boat. Looks good. But uh, if you guys wanna, if you guys need anything to like clean your boat with, this is my favorite for the fiberglass and the boat engine. And sometimes I'll put it on my trolling motor as well. But uh, yeah, it looks good. It smells good. It's, uh, it says smell like pina colada. It actually does kind of smell like pina colada. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, if you just want something to clean your boat, not sponsor anything, just use that. And then um. For my graphs, I, here, I'll just show you what my graphs look like. My graph, graphs, you know, that's pretty clear. No fingerprints or anything. But, um, let me show you what I use really quick. I use that on my glass right there for my console. But I use this right here, Eagle Eye. Once again, not sponsored, just trying to help you guys out if you're looking for something. But yeah. All right, guys, that wraps it up for fishing. It's snowing pretty hard out there. But yeah, oh, now you know. That's all for fishing. Uh, I'm gonna tell you guys what I caught them on, how I caught them, or like where I caught them. But yeah, starting off with number one, got the Pee Wee football jig HD from Jewel. Let me cut this off real quick to give you guys a better look. But yeah, you know, this is my favorite football jig. They're really nice and compact. They look great. You know, I don't, I don't uh, get hung up. You know, it's a good uh, brush guard. Uh, you know, nothing, you know, I don't lose a bunch of fish on this. It's a good football jig. But uh, what I really, what I found out when I was fishing is like, this plastic right here, I really like them. I fish PB football jigs all the time. For people who know me who goes fishing, they know I love the PB. You know, I got three of them on my day tray right there, but these soft plastics right here, uh, I just, I started fishing with them, you know, today. And, you know, I caught some good fish, but most importantly, you know, I liked how it looked. It's made out of elastic, so when it's in the water, those pinchers are like facing up, kind of like that. I'll show a video on it right now. But yeah, they're, they face up, so it's kind of like they're in the defense position. And what's cool is that those two smallmouth that I caught 
when they bit it, you know, their head was shaking. So, you know, they're trying to kill the crawfish. But, you know, they thought it was real, but it wasn't. So, yeah, we all know how that ended up. But, yeah, one was a 418, and then another was like a 2273. So, that's pretty good. Uh, throwing that on 15 pound line, that water's really clear. Me and uh, my friend we were kind of like debating whether we needed to go with lighter line because you know that water was really clear, so we didn't know. But 15 pound, it got the job done with those two smallmouth. Uh, but yeah, you know, the TRD Crosby, that's what I really like. Green pumpkin, I don't know if you like the focuses. Yeah. Those are probably my favorites, you know, they're cheap, they're durable, they're not gonna break. You know, I can do that. Not worried about it breaking. But yeah, I really like those. Those are probably my new favorites. Uh, I've thrown a lot of different trailers. But yeah, I like those a lot. So if you're looking for some trailers, I recommend that. Uh, next bait, nothing really much to say. Just a little Demiki rig. Just a uh, live scoping with that in the middle of the in the middle of the coves like 80 feet deep i only caught one that one that i caught was like um suspended probably about like 40 feet deep and i did have a bunch of bunch of them chasing it you know i would follow that bait and they'd come out and you know look at it but then you know they just they would never commit i don't know if that's a bait problem maybe a me problem or they just didn't want to eat but yeah, you know, it happens. Not worried about it. They'll eat one day. But yeah, they gotta eat, you know. Uh, but the Mickey Rig, you know, nothing much to say. Just a little. I caught one little 2.02 pounder. And then I got a bite. I just missed them. Who knows if that was any good size wise. But then next up, got this uh, shaky head right here. My friend was actually throwing that. I didn't throw the shaky head all day. I should have picked it up a little bit though. Cause you know my friend he was doing pretty solid but yeah uh that's that here i'll just show you that's that zero from strike king oh uh you know my friend likes them a lot i don't throw shaky heads too much but my friend throws them a bunch and he says that's one of his favorites that's also made out of a last take so you know it's durable it's got great action it floats so you know it kind of kind of uh uh imitates like a dying fish or something like that but yeah that's that's we caught two on that one was a solid uh like 289 maybe something like that but yeah and then yeah that's about all we caught oh with those shaky heads and that football jig we caught them on like 45 degree bank Really rocky, really rocky bank with that wind pushing in on the bank. Those largies are real shallow. Well, they were really shallow. It's, it got really cold now, so they're probably moving back out. Those smallmouth were like 15 to 20 feet deep. But yeah, that's how it went. Solid day. You know, I had fun. My partner had fun. Learned a lot. But yeah, I hope that, you know, kind of teaches you what we caught them on. Hopefully it'll help you guys catch some fish. But yeah, that was all the baits right there. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you guys want any like, uh, want any like, you want to see some things from me like content wise, uh, yeah, comment them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Helps the channel out a lot. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace.